Hello folks, welcome to the Mauer Monthly for July and August. Welcome to Wednesday. Today we're going to have a short discussion about TrickBot and how it's related to a new framework targeting Linux. So sit back, relax, here comes the facts. Morning, Joe. Morning, Adam. So did you hear about TrickBot and Linux? Wait, what's TrickBot again? And TrickBot was first discovered in 2016 and used to be a dedicated banking Trojan tool stealing financial information. However, over the last couple of years, we've seen this malware become one of the most capable intrusion and lateral movement tools ever made. These days it acts as a modular Trojan, usually dropped as a secondary payload, meant to infect network systems by using exploits, weak passwords, brute forcing, and various other penetration testing tools. Really? Like what tools? Well, Cobalt Strike and Mimikatz are frequently used by TrickBot actors to collect data for the purpose of spreading, really. And now it's targeting Linux? Kinda. There is this framework that was created by the TrickBot actors, some say with the help of North Korea, called the Anchor Project. The Anchor Project is basically the pinnacle of all TrickBot's evolution over the years, giving a solid framework for corporate network exploitation, information theft, espionage, and monitoring. So this isn't just, uh, this isn't just a new feature for TrickBot? It's more like individual TrickBot infections have been single alien invaders while Anchor is their deployed mothership, supercharging all the infections and giving a lot more capability to the attackers. It was recently discovered that there is a version of Anchor that is targeting Linux systems. It also has the ability to deploy TrickBot infections to Windows systems on the same network and execute them. Whoa, so it really is like a mothership. Absolutely. However, according to researcher Vitaly Kremez, this version of Anchor is still in development, but everyone expects TrickBot to continue developing these tools and will likely be seeing a lot of them for a while. This framework is especially concerning because of a lot of web servers, IoT devices, and routers that run on some version of Linux, and they could all potentially be turned into TrickBot motherships. That is very scary. These developers must be really good. You would think. However, in early July, Vitaly Kremez discovered that TrickBot actors accidentally distributed their malware with a test version of a password-stealing module. The result was the default browser opening and warning the victims about an infection once the module is launched. Kremez explained to Bleeping Computer, quote, The test module appears to be developed by the TrickBot devs as it is coded in the same fashion as other modules. He believes that the threat actors were testing a new version and forgot to remove it when it went live. Looks like TrickBot needs to do better quality assurance. Yeah, I'm sure their Yelp rating went down for this. That's it for today's Mauer Monthly. Tune in tomorrow for another dose of the news. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Ooh.